This is the sixth in a series of short videos designed to assist the medical student and non-specialist doctor to become confident at assessing a patient with eye symptoms and eye signs. We've already established how to take a history and to test the visual acuity and are now well on our way to examining the eye in a structured way from front to back, starting with the lids and lashes and finishing with the optic disc and retina. This video is about how to examine the cornea. The cornea's function is to act as a refracting, that is to say, focusing surface. It therefore needs to be spherical and crystal clear. And we can establish that really quite easily with the use of a pen torch. We can tell that this patient's cornea is clear because we can see all the iris details behind it. We can tell that the corneal surface is crystal clear and spherical because the light reflex coming off the pen torch is uh, like a pinpoint. The cornea does not have a glassy or perspex appearance which would make you concerned about corneal edema and there are no opacities within the cornea that might make you worried about an infection or abscess. If you have access to fluorazine dye you should then instill a tiny drop of dye into the inferior conjunctival fornix and get a blue light and re-examine the eye in dim ambient light. You might then pick up a, an epithelial defect or an ulcer of the cornea or an abrasion. And that's all there is to examining the cornea. And provided that you have not picked up any pathology, you can then communicate to your fellow professional or write in the case notes that the cornea is crystal clear, that it is bright and reflective, and that there are no opacities. If you've managed to use fluorazine dye, you can also state that there is no stain. And that's the end of the examination of the cornea. And note that we have not needed to perform fundoscopy to examine this structure either. That leaves us free to move swiftly on to the next structure of the eye, which is the anterior chamber, and that's the subject of the next video.